comes back at the knitting lady. Could be the last time we ever see her. Let's hope. She's probably killed by the Templars before the end. She probably killed the Templars. She's gonna knit a broken sword. Have we seen a broken sword? You know, that's a good question. I don't think we have. We've seen some Templars, and I guess they cast a shadow upon everything, but... Maybe there's a broken sword in here. Yeah, Maybe he's gonna ring a poem, or read a poem, and it's gonna be like... Hi, Andre. The broken sword is the, Hello, the soul that is Where incomplete. Nicole said you uh, maybe were it's away. a metaphor for erectile uh, dysfunction. Syria, on the trail of the Templars. It's a long story. But I'm a metaphor for priapism. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Sure you are. Yes. Uh, what is it? A secret cave built. Well, everything was fine until face. one day, Michael. In the cave, I discovered a map <laughs> bearing a phrase in Latin. Wait, a in secret Occidenta cave? Or Cita are we gonna go to Owl Cave? Nora Mundi, the island of Britain. Lies at the edge of the world. I don't think Ora Mundi means Isle of Britain. That map seems to contain I'm sure it does not. I think it means like, like said, Mouth of the World map. or something. Yes. A treasure map. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. That pointing hand just always seems kind of imperious to me. Go this way. It seems slinky to me. It can be both. Looks like somebody chopped off Jessica Rabbit's hand. It was bound to happen eventually. She had some bad habits. Mm. You broken swords in her history, if you know what I mean. No. No, I don't. Alright, let's approach this building in dead silence. Yeah, I was just, uh, just gonna comment on the Plaza de Silencio. <laughs> is not French. <laughs> I'm not having a young boy fillet me off screen here. What? Uh, excuse me, father. You're not my son. Pardon? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Pardon? Not at all, monsieur. It will be my pleasure to help you. <laughs> That's a woman's <laughs> voice, isn't it? What do you know it? about the Knights Templar? Uh, you have come to the right place if that yes. is your interest. Let me just put on a silly accent and uh, attempt to be a man. It's like uh, one of the Judean women with a false beard in Life of Brian. That's kind of forthright for a priest, isn't it? Or... You think so? It is hard to be sure. I, I, I guess a trans priest or a badly drawn female priest. Or, I mean, uh... This is a no, even in France, they aren't that. For for yeah, yeah. And they aren't that progressive. I guess you, you don't know much about France. the history of this church, then. <laughs> just I'm watching the news over there. It's a shitstorm, just like a us. On that well, this is turn of the century, uh, France. Anything less than uh, best yeah, I was pretty, pretty well unaware, unaware of France at that so. time. I never thought of it like that. There was, you know, fucking in the streets, cats and dogs do living together. And not going to the war... Uh, that the U.S. started, it and then we had to rename our about breakfast as old pastries. As this church, I think. Mm. There seems to be an engraving on it. Yeah. What does it say? You you eat I French fries for breakfast time. pastries? With your French toast is what I was I referring could try to. Polishing it. Uh, I promised I would. I had to. I had to careful. order. Well, no, I well, ordered French good, toast, you. and she said this one order of freedom toast you. coming up, and I said no Feel French toast. to look around. She didn't argue, which is which is good. Okay, thanks. I, I'm mm -hmm. sure she was obligated to do that, though. Mm. I never saw anyone who did that. I didn't hear about that whole bullshit until after, long after the fact, and I was the like, lens "What? Fit Why?" Into the end of the scroll, like a hand into a glove. That was a real hey. facile simile. <laughs> Facile simile was my name when I was a Roman legionnaire. Stake and a date. It's a it's a simulacrum of a simile. M C. Let me let me see M C C. X I V. That's thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
Why was six afraid of seven? Hello again, Father. I, 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 you, I, I don't know if you're gonna deliver hey, the traditional punchline or the modified punchline. It's my pleasure, Monsieur. I've only Where's heard the, the traditional trials? punchline. As far as I know, it's a traditional right punchline mistake. because seven, eight, nine. Right. I, I recently heard someone years, subverting it, it with something cannibalistic. Yeah. We. Oui. I think I have seen okay. it or on that differently cannibalistic, Falcone, shall we say. That ah. winged horse is quite distinctive. Your voice is quite distinctive. Did you know that the center window conceals an image of a man burning at the stake? Conceals? The burning man? Hey! What, you knew? That there was a hidden image? No. Listen to the dumb step in the, the dust. The church Ooh. has a reputation for being haunted. <laughs> I just had one of those moments where I'm like, what the hell were we talking about? What's going on? I don't, like, I'm turning into a grandfather or something. You have to reproduce first. That's, I mean, that's yeah. the usual order of events. Maybe need a special uh, I'm a modern, subversive form of grandfather. Au revoir, monsieur. I had a whole thing I was going to talk about there, and then fac facile simile really diverted me. <laughs> I'm gonna rewatch this when I'm editing, and I'm gonna go. Oh damn it! I totally forgot to talk about you know whatever it was, like papyrus in the 18th no century or something. There was no name on it. You can but the sneak in some subtitling if you really wanted to. Undeniably, the <laughs> Pegasus of the De Vasconcellos family. I'd found the last resting place of Don Carlos. My really? eye was drawn to the biblical references that is carved in the definitely edge of the a film canister. Hey, a film reel. Maybe these biblical references mean no something. No way, it's anything else. Psalms. 32.7, John 4.11, Corinthians 1, 4, 5. Not a Bible puzzle. And just one more, Psalms 22.21. You know, Same if you're going to do a Bible puzzle, a memory like a steel it's truck. really kind of like making it super easy to put it in a church, churches, right? But it looked like a happy uh, yeah, now they mention it. After all. The De Vasconcellos arms were already on the manuscript. Kind of a no, tedious puzzle if you didn't have some, some assist. That the chalice had some significance all of its own. Like, but luckily we can walk six inches and grab a Bible and look everything up fairly quickly. Or possibly even ask the priest if he's a memorizing sort of priest. Mm. Hello again, Father. That's what Are you, you a do. memorizing sort of priest? Mystery. How pleasant to speak to you again. Was I going to say Catch something about freedom fries? <laughs> oh, I know. I <laughs> I really did not have a lot to say. I was just like, you know, I wonder if other like nations in the UN started calling them like jackass wings or something, you know, <laughs> buffalo wings, right. things like that. I think American as an adjective is already insulting. Um, so, let's have this American so-called cheese. Where did all our background music go? Oh, thank you. Now, I, I remember that from last time. That, that scene just doesn't have background. Looks like a giant fist raised in anger over there. On the wall. Oh, good. Let's call Nicole Callard. Hello? Nicole Collard. Do you have any greens? It's George. Oh, hi. Listen, remember the missing Spanish Templar? I found his tomb in the church at Montfaucon. So he's dead then. I wish you would have so commented on it before, but he I needs was only joking, George. Your lessons. countess will be delighted. <laughs> yeah, maybe this will help lift the curse. What now? Are we going to dig him up? There's no need for that. Well, not yet. Come over if you've got the time. You're maybe. always welcome. I am? You're the best friend I've got. Wow, that's a sad statement. When you're it's not somewhere How do you in the say friend lady? zone in French? <laughs> Probably le friend zone. Uh, um, amour unrequité. Unrequité. Have we not made the comment that the map like on the wall looks like a retina? Please. Huh? Well, I I think I've said that it looks like a colon, and I just or a prolapsed colon, and that and or a prolapsed re prolapsed rectum. God damn it, I can't talk. And I just said it looks like a fist raised in anger, but no, not a retina yet. Okay. Have you? Hey, the map on the wall looks like a retina. <laughs> Why yes, there was a fracas only this morning. Fracas. Arrests for public disorder. And you say there was a clown involved? Are you fracka kidding me? <laughs> and a particularly offensive piece of sculpture with balloons. 
Are Fence you and balloon in sculpture. Any way in my love? favorite. With the reprobate, monsieur? No, not Get me. Get some good vocabulary in here. Oh, well, that was eighty yards there. Sergeant Moo, you haven't heard. Heard what? Has something happened to him? Moo is dead. Moo. You're kidding. No, monsieur. That's how? Why? The death of a policeman never comes Doesn't as a surprise. Doesn't Moo mean housefly? Always as a shock. But uh, Sergeant if it does, I don't know. But it's a he look of so uh, displeasure. I know. Well, yes, and was as on, on the English as word baton. of French adaptation. His heart was as warm as a freshly extracted urine sample. Ooh, fancy. May I see Inspector Rosso? I'm sorry, but he gave me orders not to disturb him, monsieur. Thanks for your help, officer. He's got a little fan going back there, but it makes no noise. Moosh is housefly in French. Hmm. Now you know something new. Are you enthralled? So there's frappe la bouche, which is pat the mouth, or fra frappe la mouche, which is pat the housefly. Yes. No oh, good. We're going to go talk to that old woman again. Or, no, we're going to go to Paris. Yeah! Mon façon. You just like saying mon façon and being here where it's really quiet. Oops. No, I don't even <laughs> care. Back to the Museum of the Crone. Or the Crooner. It's kind of a Vegas museum. That's crooning. No. I don't see a broken sword. So it must be the erectile dysfunction thing. Hello, Georgie. <laughs> we all float down here, Georgie. While I was in Syria, <laughs> I discovered a strange pagan statue. We all it was learned like by rope down here, Georgie. This is horrible. That sounds as if it could be Baphomet, the idol described by the Templars. The poor knights of Christ had an <laughs> I wasn't even trying with that accent. The Templar. <laughs> the Templar. The description of the idol came from the evidence extracted by the Inquisition. It's like the actor Jeffrey Templar. But one statue or idol was ever found on Templar property. Templar. Until now, that is. Just last month, a statue of Baphomet was unearthed right here in Paris. Where? The statues of Baphomet the always have boobies. Hermetic de Naval. The statue is beneath the you mentioned that like every time it comes up, you're really <laughs> fixated on Baphomet's boobs. Okay. Can Images of Baphomet often have penises. Statue of Baphomet? It's a fearful image, even now. A bearded head. No Baphomet's the penis? The of the statue is carved with Templar symbols. Templar. One of the workmen noticed a curious stain at the base. It's a birthmark. It Remember the curious stain like at the base blood. of the tree in Deadly Premonition? Oh, yeah. That's right. I know what happened. Perhaps, perhaps it was left by a template. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Just check out episode 58 or so to find out what that was. I think it was earlier than that, wasn't it? Oh, hell, I don't know. <laughs> we do it's not cross-reference, cross ladies and gentlemen. If you want to crowdsource that sort of information, feel free. Oh, we got a Baphomet site? Sweet. This man is covered in urine. And he is Excuse Baphomet. Me. Could you help me? <laughs> well, he appears to possibly have breasts. I've got a few questions. Are you Baphomet? What does the word Templar suggest to you? That's a dumb Templar? question. Mm, nothing. <laughs> nothing. There, that's it. You ask the dumb question <laughs> and you set yourself up to be shut down. Me. I have my professional problem. Ask a dumb I don't question. Think I've ever seen a Get a urine stained Frenchman so answering you worthlessly. It's a natural talent. I'm being sarcastic. I'm being in detail. <laughs> You're very good at that as well. <laughs> okay. I'm actually kind of enjoying this Merci. exchange. Vive la différence. So Vive la différence. That's I nice. Having my break. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you There's some pretty break, good bits here and there, but it's also like. like oh, God. You'll probably it's need like to raisins and oatmeal. I could have another mm. cigarette while I consider. Perhaps tomorrow, too? Okay, let me put things differently. What were you hired to do here? I was hired to keep the archaeological dig in the basement of this building clear of... Oh, is this the Peabody dig? Whatever. The door frames is my little pot of faith. It's a very responsible job. 
Is this Peace Pot Pete? Unfortunately, Maybe it is Peace Pot Pete. I'm not a very responsible person. Paint Peace Pot So Pete. what do you know about the excavation? <laughs> I know well, they won't I, let I think do evidence suggests he's I would complain piss to my union. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a piss poor Peace Pot Pete. Right. Tell me what, though. <laughs> I'm surprised at the sort of people interested in this uh, excavation. He sounds What's kinda unusual Canadian about the visitors to the excavation? <laughs> None of them look like archaeologists to me. He's you French Canadian skits, like? obviously. Creepy yes. suits, crocodile eyes, cases, Rolex oyster. But no archaeologist dresses like that. Rolex oysters. Quite right, monsieur, quite what right. do you mean? So no archaeologist dresses. They? How do we know? Do, do you? Is that like an accepted thing? How archaeologists them? dress? They're have you seen this man before? More or less like college yes, professors in yes, my experience. Yes, questions just like you. I've never seen one wearing a Be Rolex oyster. Why, monsieur? I don't even know what that. I mean, it's like, not a thing. Yeah. And it's. I mean, I just assume they all wear brown leather jackets with uh, whips. <laughs> Yes, but not while they're working. Hi. Uh, excuse me? Oui. Oui. Can I stand a little closer to you? What do you know about the Knights Templar? There was a long pause during which the guard said nothing. Did we... That's then what a said, pause is, nothing. yeah. Nothing at all? <laughs> is this a test? The guard said what, nothing. Like a history <laughs> pop test? No, like a <laughs> test? Okay, yes, it's a test. I was about to mock the narration for being unnecessary, the, the and then I realized it was a setup. <laughs> the guard was uh. being amazingly evasive. It was going to take more than good will to get cross. past him. So, what exactly are you doing here? Standing. I'm guarding. You expect to find me sharing sheep? Take it easy. I just didn't realize you were a guard. <laughs> That's weird. I Apparently, the actor who played George was like, "Calm down. It's just not enough secret. here. George needs it to be more in the archaeological site, would it?" Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you. Then why us? <laughs> I had a feeling this was no normal hole in the ground. Uh. Have you seen this man before? Oh, <gasps> you have. Uh, no. <laughs> that was, that was worthless. Au revoir, monsieur. The guard was lying to me about the number of men he had seen, but cheap. why? That does look to monsieur. He has a bathroom key from before. Are all bathrooms <laughs> on the same key? Again. What is it? Trying to get into a locked washroom. I had the strongest feeling of deja vu. Yeah. I'd like to use the that. washroom, but the door's locked. Oh, that's no problem. You can have the key. Thanks. <laughs> so... I think they just threw that in as a... Talk to you later. ...kind of a revoir, decoy, monsieur. like make you think there's a puzzle happening again. I guess so. It better be something in that toilet. I had a nickel for every time I've said that. This is an odd looking bathroom. It seems, yeah. it seems to have a boiler in it. And it seems to have a giant pile I didn't of skulls. Want to use that unless I really had to. A filthy wash basin hung on the wall. Also, the perspective makes it really difficult to tell how large that spider's web is. Yes, actually. It could be It looks like George could get caught it in that web. It was the bar of soap I'd stolen from the wash across the, the excavation site. Yeah, is he going to clean the wash basin now? Is that what we're going to do? We're going to do some cleaning here? I made an impression of the big key and the cake of soap. Uh, wait a minute. Made an impression of the Bathroom key? Apparently. And now I we're gonna... carefully sprinkled the plaster into the soap mold I'd made of the key. Wait, you're making the key here? The cold taps washer yep. looked to have failed. Oh, I see. He's gonna return the fake, I think, rather than try and use it for anything. The cold taps washer looked to have failed. It was just dribbling down the sink. That happens when you get older. 